Harvey Weinstein, the Vegas shooter, Bill Cosby, alt-right leaders. What's the common thread? All men. Today we're going to dig into some of the problems facing men and what one man is doing to solve them. Hi, I'm Connor Beaton, the founder of Man Talks. Connor Beaton is tall, smart, and handsome. And five years ago, when his career was going incredibly well, he found himself living in his car, down by a river, contemplating suicide. I felt completely alone. And so, because I felt broken, I ended up living out of the backseat of my car. Um, not because I didn't have the money to go put myself up in a hotel, but because I felt like that's what I deserved. I had isolated myself in such a way that um, I didn't think that it was okay for me to reach out and get help. He had a choice, end his life or pick himself back up and start moving forward. He chose the latter and went to go talk to his best friend about what he'd been going through. I told him everything. I told him everything that had been happening and how I'd been struggling. And um, yeah, and he, he broke down and um, you know, he told me that, uh, that he had tried to hang himself a month and a half before. You know, I remember sitting there and just being like, how are we so close? I had known this guy for like a decade. How are we so close and I know everything about you except the most important pieces of you? And how is it that you're so close to me and you know all of me except for the parts that I really want you to see? This loneliness and isolation is endemic among men and it's causing a lot of problems. Just listen to these crazy stats we found in an article by Mark Manson called What's the Matter with Men? Men perpetrate over 76% of the violent crimes in the US. Men make up two thirds of the homeless population Men are far less likely to ask for professional help, medical or otherwise, even when experiencing significant health problems or depression. And men commit suicide at a rate five times that of women, while teenage boys commit suicide nine times more often than girls. And then there's this. That 50% of, of men over the age of 21 can't identify a best friend. So I think a lot of guys um, feel completely isolated. And they might have the friends around them these like acquaintances, but they can still feel completely isolated and alone. It's clear the everyday man is struggling. On the other side, men in power are abusing those positions, clinging to an archaic and dangerous model of masculinity. We clearly need a new path forward, a new model for masculinity. Connor and his organization Man Talks are doing their part to make that happen. Man Talks really is a space for the modern man to work on himself. So um, it's an event. It's a mastermind group's podcast, blog, it's, it's a bunch of different mediums, but really at the heart and center of it is, is an organization that's committed to helping building better men. So better fathers, better husbands, better leaders, and creating a space where men get to show up without it being a threat to society, and they get to connect with a group of like-minded guys who are willing to call them out on their bullshit, you know, that are willing to say that's actually that's actually not okay. And to try and find a, a more balanced, healthy version of masculinity that isn't, you know, destroying or hurting people, but also that isn't a pushover. I started creating that opportunity for other guys. They were like, yes, this is what I've been missing. I've been missing this like real connection, these real conversations, things that are meaningful outside of like the booze, babes, and blood sports that we normally talk about. Because that's what a lot of guys are looking for. They're, they're like dying, literally dying to have connection in their life and have a, a freaking impact. And so we're trying to create a space where guys can do really amazing things, have an impact in the world, and maybe be remembered. Man Talks gives men a space to talk about things in a way we've been told to suppress since a young age. The world isn't the same one our fathers grew up in, and if we're going to make a better world, we need to improve. Connor was recently engaged to his beautiful fiance Vienna, and he's helping thousands of men improve their lives every year. I'm Connor Beaton, founder of Man Talks. Rally, Rally on! on.